hey guys welcome back to another video here at farmer freak guys i am so excited bringing this update coming from our farm to you guys if you have been following guys you would know that we started with a batch of 1071 chicks all together that was on the 6th of january which we unboxed their cartons and uh I made a video sharing with you on how to raise up day O chicks, right? Starting from day one to right up to day seven. If you haven't watched that video, please go to my video section and watch that video, guys. It's going to help you get some tips, strategies, and techniques, especially when it comes to brooding, guys, and the best practices for you to use as a farmer in order to succeed in this business, guys. I am so excited to share this update with you. Today, it is day 10 and you can see the weight and the height we have achieved right here these guys are healthy they are healthily eating and drinking guys they can eat 24 7 and they can also drink 24 7 but i'm going to be sharing with you some techniques guys you don't also want to let them eat 24 7 you don't also want to let them drink 24 7 as well there is or there are reasons for that guys so keep watching this video you are going to learn a lot in order to become a better farmer farmer Freak is a one-stop uh, YouTube channel where you can get all your tips in order to start your own farm anywhere in the world, guys. So if you are not yet a member here, it is free. You want to click that subscribe button and turn all bell notifications on so you don't miss out on my future upload, guys. Make sure you also like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if at this point in time, looking at their sizes, are they good at day 10 yes i think probably they are <laughs> because i've visited other farms and what they even tell me is that john you are doing massively great so you want to keep your eyes at this point in time into your pen you are going to identify certain uh birds which are weak you can see me picked one up just now because that bird is weak guys and once a bird is weak what you want to do is to separate them from the other flock guys you will see me where i will be taking the bird just now in order to provide extra medication and attention to the bird in order to recover so it can join the, the group again sooner, guys. <laughs> so you can see our brother, what we decided to do first, we have taken out the carbon paper, which was on the floor, because like I told you, from day, old, from day old, they can't identify, they are unable to identify between feet and liter. So you need to use either a newspaper, but what I choose to use is a carbon paper because it is bigger. So it, it, it saves me a lot of time, guys. So we have taken that off because now they are able to identify which is liter versus food. Now you can also see, you can't see their feeders just now. That is because you can't, you shouldn't feed your bird 24 seven guys. You shouldn't feed your bird 24 seven. So I, I, I try to give them an hour or two daily where they will starve in order to build their immune system, their, their respiratory system to rest, to relax before they eat and feed again. So you can see me, I've separated this bird from the other flocks right that is because if this bird is having an illness or a defect it will not contaminate or it will not transmit it to the other flock guys so you want to separate your sick bird your weak bird in order for you to provide more attention and more medication to them once they become healthy enough yes you can then uh, uh take them back to the group guys so you can see the the, the the way that which we have achieved guys another thing you can see them scattered in the pen now this tells us one thing you don't even need a thermometer to tell you this guys when i first started i was like i'm going in for a thermometer i tried searching all around i couldn't find a thermometer and then one day i went to a medication shop uh in Douala. i was asking someone whom i just met there where can i get a thermometer he just laughed and told me john you don't really need you don't actually need a, therm a thermometer what you need is your eyes and, and your senses guys 
When you see this bird scattered all over the tent like this or the pen like this, it means something that the heat versus the coldness, it is good. They are good. It is not too hot. It is not too cold. They are comfortable with the temperature in the pen right now, guys. When you see them go by the wall side, it means something, guys. It means that their pen is too hot. When you see them uh, bundled together, uh, I also lost some beds because of that. Because when it is too cold, they come together and they might even uh, smash their friends and they, they, they might die of suffocation or something, guys. So you want to put this aspect in place, guys. So you see what we have also done. We took out the tarpaulins up uh, at, the, at, the, at the two extremes, okay? That is because you don't want ventilation in and ventilation uh, isn't going out, okay? So what do I mean is we let the air come in and then we also provide an exit for the air because you don't want that air, that ventilation to come in and then it stays in the pan. It might cause uh, problems, okay? Now, another thing is if you are using these same drinkers like you see one of my worker doing just now, okay? Uh, what he is doing, because this bird they drink all the time they 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 sometimes i wouldn't i shouldn't say sometimes they always uh pick some liters and put in this drink in this uh, drinker's uh, uh uh mouth in uh, uh, and as a result it blocks the water from coming out okay now, if you don't notice this, your bird might starve of water, okay? Now, what you need to do periodically, it is to use your fingers around the drinker and then take out that liter and then Jake, uh, take the, 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 the drinker up a little so that water can be flowing, okay? Now, another thing I've observed is that these drinkers are becoming smaller, okay? As they grow bigger, they drink a lot. As they grow bigger, they drink a lot. So you can also change your drinkers if you want to minimize a labor, okay? So that one person can handle a thousand chicks. You don't necessarily need two, three, or five people, guys. If you have bigger drinkers at this point, as they grow from stage to stage, uh, one person can handle. Now, you can see this bird, which is weak. I'm trying to let it eat. And then later on, medication will be provided as well. Now, it can stay here for a day or two. And once we think that it is healthy and stronger enough to join the other group, then we would let it in. Otherwise, it stays there. Like I told you guys, it is for uh, uh, disease prevention so that they don't uh, transmit diseases to each other guys another thing you will hear me saying just now it is that you should keep your eyes in your pen guys you can see at day 10 what we have decided to do it is to stop providing so much more heat to them because my pen this brooder it is alone very hot because i have it sealed uh around with tarpaulin and then the rooftop also we have a uh, carbon papers on there so when we close this tarpaulin we have enough heat for them guys so you can see how healthy they are looking and uh, i'm just loving the experience when i first got started i was thinking of going in with uh 21 day old 21 chicks okay 21 day chicks uh to start from there but uh look at look at what i was just telling you right so you see that the liter has blocked the mouth of this drinker and water isn't flowing but once i take it out and once you take it out don't also just throw it in the pan okay uh that isn't good now i will take the drinker up now you can see water can flow and you know this is not just water it is medication so if you don't do that your bird will not be drinking uh, when you you think you that they are drinking whereas they aren't drinking water now what we have done is food has been served guys food has been served to them because they have stuff for some time do not play with your uh, sanitation your cleanliness i i let my workers clean the drinkers and feeders every morning 
every morning to clean the drinkers and the feeders. Now, we are giving them food, okay? They have starved for an hour, two, or three. And during this time, because the weather is too hot, you don't want to feed your birds during hot hours, okay? You want to feed them when there isn't so much heat or so much sun or whatever you might call it, guys. Now, at this point in time, because they have starved for like an hour or two, once you uh, serve them food, you are going to see how beautifully they are consuming that food, how beautifully they are eating that food, okay? At this point also, you are going to be able to identify which flock, which bird isn't feeding, which bird is weak, which bird isn't amongst the group, to feed that is where you begin to uh, detect that this bird has a problem the same thing when it comes to water whenever i want to uh, administer a vaccine that is also what i do okay i let them starve for uh, an hour or two without water and then once water the vaccine is uh, safe to them they consume it so beautifully at that point in time i also get to find birds which are having problems and illnesses okay so you can see how much big they are growing and as as they pass by the pen becomes smaller because they are expanding in size and weight so we were in, we were thinking of bringing in another batch of day old but i'm trying to see that i would prefer to let them in this brooder uh, to, to maintain this temperature for 21 days before sending them out to the bigger section. Guys, you want to stick around this channel because there are a lot of good things which I will be bringing from time to time, I would say on daily basis. Guys, smash that subscribe button and that like button also. Show me some support and uh, should you want to also ask some questions, this, the comment section is also open. So now you can see them feeding. Their water is there, uh, which is a medication anti-stress. Again, at day 10, guys, I presented, I, I served them anti-stress the first three days, day one to three, and then uh, they day i would say day seven to day ten also now they are getting more stronger remember even though even as they are working around the pen they are getting so much stress okay now another thing is you don't want to give them so big a gap to walk okay you just want to enclose them in a smaller area so that they shouldn't stress much okay so we are happy with the results we are getting like i told you i was thinking of going in with to start with 21 day orchard because i have a friend who also owns a big farm so uh because of experience lack of experience it was like john i can give you 21 day old chicks you just continue raise them from there and then take them to market with I was like, ah, but am I going to enjoy the process? Am I going to do, to to enjoy the the the, the entire uh, process of raising up chicken? I decided no. From what I have learned, if I put all of my hygiene, sanitation, and I put my biosecurity in place, and I save them clean water. I follow medication practices and I follow their best feeding uh, practices as well. Why shouldn't I succeed? <laughs> that was the question I asked myself. And behold, I will tell you that if I went in with 21 day old chicks, it would have been a mistake for me because I enjoy the process of raising them up from day old to right up to slaughter age. I enjoy the process, okay? But I don't know about you, just that way you feel comfortable. But this is John sharing my experience, tips, techniques, and strategies with you in order to become a better farmer, guys. You want to take care of these flocks, these birds, just like you would take, your, take care of your own babies at home, guys. I love them so much. And uh, there will be more coming up from Farmer Freak. So you want to stick around, make sure you subscribe. Let me know your comments. Let me know your opinions about this bird. Are they looking healthy? Are they looking grown up? In the comment section. Thank